This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ajuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an ink revealing animation instead of After Effects without using any plugins. We will be covering various different techniques throughout the tutorial, so make sure you stick with me throughout the video and it's going to be super fun. I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, make sure to check out I Want It All bundle from AE Juice, which contains over 5000 animated elements, transition, presets and titles for your projects. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime. Oh, and they also have a free starter pack. It has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Call this main 1920 by 1080 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition which is going to be our placeholder where you can drag and drop in any image or video whatever that you want to use in this project. I'm going to call this media. With the same settings hit ok and then i can drag in any image or footage whatever that i want to use so i'm on, i'm going to be using this image let's scale this down a bit so there we have our image let's create one more composition for our ink so i'm going to call this ink and drag and drop in my ink footage that i have so it starts from somewhere around here so I'm going to hold alt and open a square bracket to crop that up and move it at the very start of our timeline. So we have our ink and we don't want to use this um, red and white color. We need to make it black and white in order to use this ink as a track mat for the reveal of our video or image, whatever that we will, that we will be using. So to do that, I'm going to go into effects and preset and type in Triton and I'm going to use this to turn this into a black and white video. So I'll just pick with the black color and now you can see we have the desired look. Now you can use it in this way, but what I like to do is I like to change the speed of this. So I'll click right over here where it says stretch. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to columns and add a stretch panel. Let's set this to 25 or let's go with 20%. I'm going to spring that in let's type in 20 so it's going to increase the speed of the complete video so you can see looks pretty cool right so i'm going to go at around one second and then what i'm going to do is select it going to fix and split this layer then change the first layer speed to normal 100 percent hit ok so now we have a speed in animation and then it slows down and I think that looks pretty good. Okay, that's that. Let's go back into our main composition. Let's create a new solid. Hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. Call this BG for background with a white color. Hit OK. And drag and drop in our media composition. And on top of that, I'm going to drag and drop in my ink footage comp. So we have something like that. And then change the track mat of the media to luma inverted mat now if you don't see this track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible and now you can see we have this very nice reveal looks pretty cool so let's select the media comp going to effects and preset and i'm going to type in find edges double click to apply that up invert this and let's increase the blend with original unless and until it looks something like this. So I think 90 should be good. And now you can see before and after it's a very minimal effect, but it adds up in adding some really nice detail to this. Maybe 85, I think. Yeah, that looks much better. And then I can add some curves adjustments as well. 
just punching up the contrast a little bit then go into the blue channel and I'm gonna pump up the blues a bit something like so yep that is looking very nice as you can see before and after and finally I'll add a little bit of sharpen on this Oh, make sure you select it double click and let's make this 10 so yeah that is looking very nice let's also add some movement to the complete scene at the moment it look it's looking very still so I'll create a new adjustment layer call this T for transform go into effects and presets and type in transform apply that up move your time indicator at the very beginning set the scale height to 110 create a keyframe go to maybe around five seconds depending on how long you want the animation to be i'm gonna keep it around five seconds and set this to 100 so basically it adds a really simple zoom out animation so our, so our animation doesn't look very still and we have a little bit of movement going on so yeah that is looking very nice let's add some nice texture on top of this so here i have a simple texture and by the way you can download the free project file from the link in the description below so i'll drag and drop it below the transform so here we have our texture let's go into the blending mode and set this to soft light also i'm going to bring down the opacity so hit t and let's bring that down to around 30 percent should work Yep, that looks much better, maybe 35. Yeah, so now you can see in the white section, we have this really nice texture, which adds up to the complete theme. Also make sure you're working in the 16 bits per channel in order to avoid any kind of color bendings. And to change it, you can just hold Alt and click on this. So it's gonna switch from eight bits to 16 bits. So that is looking very nice. Now let's go ahead and add some blur animation at the very start. So I'm going to create a new adjustment layer again, call this blur, go to effects and preset and type in fast blur, the legacy one, double click to apply that up. I'll go to around 15 frames, repeat edge pixels and set the blurriness to around 15. I think, yeah, that looks good. Create a keyframe, hit U, move that keyframe at the very beginning. At the very start set this to zero select the keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those so now we have this really nice blur in as you can see maybe i'll increase the duration of the blur to around 20 frames yep that is looking much better as you can see looking pretty nice and the best part about this animation is you don't need to use the same exact ink footage you can use any different ink footages i'll mention a link to a website where you can download free footages like this and you can create a complete slideshow using this technique so this is looking pretty nice the final thing that i would like to add is a text so let's create a new composition call this text hit ok let's um hit ctrl k to bring up the comp settings and i'll set the background color to white so we can see a text more properly so i'm going to select the text tool and for the font i'm going to go with a roboto maybe let's go with a roboto slab regular make this a black color and I'm going to type in the text that I want elegant and stylish all right maybe we can make this bold I think bring down the size increase the kerning spacing a bit that looking really nice let's select this and hit ctrl D pull this below it's gonna be our ink slideshow increase the size of this one really nice and big and finally we can add some little animation onto our text as well so i'll go right over here into the animate section and add a position 
in and opacity bring down the position to around maybe 60 should work good and opacity down to zero go into the range selector let's make some space right here so i'll go to around maybe uh let's go to one second all right let's set the offset all the way up to 100 percent create a keyframe go back at the very start and set this to minus 100 go into advanced section set this to set the shape to ramp up and increase the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 so we have this really nice animation and all i have to do is switch the randomized order to on and now we have this very nice animation maybe i'll increase the time duration a bit more and yep there we have this really nice reveal so i can just select the animator hit ctrl c and paste it on this one hit ctrl v and all i'm, I'm gonna do is hit u two times to reveal all the properties and set the position of the animator to minus 30. So we have this very nice text animation and finally in the main comp i can drag and drop in my text let's scale this down and i'll position it somewhere around like so also i'm going to move this a bit maybe around one second so you can see we have this very nice revealing animation so you can also use this um, slideshow animation technique as a title animation as well it would look even more better with videos so make sure you have fun you play around with this technique use different footages of ink or brushes and if you upload it on instagram to dm me or tag me at dope.motion so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions we are about to reach 50,000 followers on instagram which is absolutely amazing so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out